Hi Leo, welcome to your love reading. This is for Leo, Summer Rising Venus. You can check out your other placements for additional messages. As this is a general reading, messages may or may not apply. Just take a resonance and leave a dozen for the next person. I can be picking up on someone around you or someone you can be dealing with, so you can always swap the roles. We're going to be taking a little look into your love life, see what you guys can be currently dealing with or what you can expect. Wow, get some insight with some guidance and overall see what's going on. What do we got here? Uh, pay attention to the red flags. We also have uh, healing family issues. Oh, and let your friends help you. We also have you deserve love at the bottom. Okay, if you guys are interested, you can follow me over on my Instagram at Jade Stone Tarot. Let's get right into this reading because the cards had a lot to say. So pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So Leo, whether you are in a long-term relationship now or if you're just getting out in the dating scenes, um, pay attention to the red flags. If you've been making excuses for someone, if you've been tolerating shitty treatment from someone even though deep down you know you shouldn't or deep down like you've you've expressed how you felt and then somehow they made you the bad guy or if things have been unrequited or unbalanced unfair treatment um where you've maybe even felt uncomfortable or disrespected pay attention to the red flags pay attention to the red flags right i'm also getting the energy as if some of your friends might be telling you like yo leo like your girlfriend, your boyfriend, I don't really like them. Or they shouldn't be treating you like this. Like, I'm kind of feeling like there's a lot of support from your friends. And they might even making you aware that you shouldn't be putting up with some certain treatment. Like, let's just say you and your boo had a fight. And you go to your friends, you're really feeling upset. You're upset about something. And you're like, am I in the wrong here? Like, maybe I sh should apologize. And your friends are like, do you listen to yourself? Do you listen to, like, you know, I feel like your friends are trying to help you be there for you. This might even be some sort of cycle that you see your parents go through or you've seen your parents go through, like whether they're fighting all the time every day. And when you were growing up, that's all you would see. And so growing up, the types of relationships you'd invest yourself in, it's like you're always fighting with this person or like, you know, if you experience um, a parent that got cheated on, right? And then you find yourself in relationships where you're getting cheated on. Like I, there could be a correlation of like the type of relationship your parents had passed down to you and now you're finding yourself having similar experiences or let's just say you know maybe you got um a parent that abandoned you right and so for all your life you've had abandonment issues or you attract people that um either leave you or maybe you have the tendency to self-sabotage or push people away because you're so used to people leaving you so you'd rather just have the control over the situation and end it before they can end you or end the real you know end it before they can end the relationship and then break your heart so you'd rather push them away so that you're not the one who's with a broken heart right there could be some sort of energy just giving examples i'm sure there's many different um many different ways you can apply that but healing family issues your love life begins no sorry your love life benefits as you forgive your parents so i do feel like there's some sort of like parental role in your love life how that's affected you with the types of partners that you attract, the types of relationships you end in, and how, you know, this is the opportunity for you guys to become aware of these cycles and break free from that. And I think you guys are needing as much support as you possibly could have, right? But yeah, it's, it's a toughie. It's a toughie. Woo! What was at the bottom? You deserve love, right? Some of you have um, always felt like maybe you're not deserving or that you deserve this crappy treatment. Um, that, that's what you've been telling yourself or even though you, that's what you've been told. Like, you're never going to find anyone better than me or like no one else is going to put up with you like I do. So you better stick around. Or, you know, really some toxic shit. I feel like some of you could be in a really unhealthy relationship whoever i'm connecting with okay if this is the group i'm picking up with obviously not gonna apply for those that are happy and married and have a family and y'all are like fucking like 
obviously this ain't your reading but i feel like this is the energy someone who needs it right the messages come through for whoever needs it the most i'm getting the energy as if like there's some red flags in a relationship maybe you have been making excuses putting up with crap that you know you probably don't deserve but you've still been sticking around because you're hoping maybe they're going to change or maybe things will get better or maybe how the relationship used to be right and you're hoping that maybe one day it will return to that but you have to take it at face value what it is right here right now just because it was beautiful sunshine rainbows in the past doesn't mean it's going to go back to that right people change people grow and it's even like when you are in the early stages of relationship right that's the best part it's like the honeymoon it's all great fun and dandy but then as you start to be more serious as months go on you're really starting to see this person's true color so at the beginning of the relationship if someone was wearing a false mask if someone was pretending to be something they're not they're gonna be love bombing you and giving you everything you ever wanted and like you know it's all like a dream like so good too good to be true right and then as time goes on you start to see those actions those things that they would do displays of affection start to fade away and now their real colors are actually showing up and you're like, where were you? Like, you know, how you used to be three months ago, six months ago, a year ago, you've changed. And so there's part of you that wants to leave, but then there's part of you that wants to stick around because you're hoping that that person will come back, right? So you're sticking around, making excuses. Oh, well, they didn't mean it like that or they didn't mean to hurt my feelings or just making excuses for how they treat you. Oh, well, I deserved it. I was a bitch to them. So of course they're going to be a bitch back to me. It's like you know like making excuses and um i feel like this uh kind of ties back to you know deep wounding deep inner child wounding that's needing to be acknowledged and healed and you know your last few readings leo i don't know about your last one because the last one was your birthday reading but the ones before that were pretty intense like regarding like yourself and looking back on some past things and you know so i do feel like you guys are still kind of on that journey of the group that i've been picking up on you guys are working through healing family issues and internal things that are going on within you right and, you know, it's okay to ask for help. It's okay to ask for support. Even receiving professional help, right? Going to see someone who is in that field that knows their shit, that can help you. Um, things like that, you know. Don't be afraid to ask for help. I think some of you could really benefit from that, you know? So, let's pull some tarot messages. Um, let me just move this up. Go about here. Let's pull some tarot messages and see what's going on for Leo. Wait, am I shuffling this backwards? Yes, I am. <laughs> Wait a second. Oh, okay. The Nine of Pentacles was flipped for some reason. All right, any messages for Leo, Summer, Nice, and Venus, you want their love life? In August 2021, any tarot messages for Leo, Summer, Nice, and Venus, regarding their love life in August 2021? What messages do my Leos need to hear? Any insight and guidance for Leo, Summer, Nice, and Venus in love for August 2021? Any oh, messages for Leo, Summer, Nice, and Venus in love? Ace of Swords did try to come out, so there could be the energy of you guys having a breakthrough or getting a new perspective, getting clarity, seeing things differently, right? Starting to actually see the red flags, taking those rose-colored glasses off and seeing someone for who they truly are. Seeing their true colors shine through, right? All right. Um, any tarot messages for Leo, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for August 2021? What the fuck? I was like, 2020, 2021? <laughs> what year are we talking about? Any messages for Leo, Summer, and Ice, and Venus for August 2021? We're going to love. Okay. Oh, there we go. We have the Seven of Cups. So, I'm going to put that here. Um, let's do it like this. Okay. Messages, thank you. We also have the Queen of Swords. Messages for Leo. Knight of Cups reversed. Uh-huh. Wow. Eight of Wands. Just putting it in. I don't know. I feel like doing it like this. The Sun. Messages for Leo, Summer Nights and Venus for the month of August 2021. We're love. Ten of Pentacles reversed. Ooh, I'm getting like the energy of like a false foundation or something wasn't built on a solid foundation from the start. 
Okay, we're gonna just check the bottom, actually. Or, okay, let's see if there's any, any other messages. Eight, ooh, five of wands. All right, we're gonna put that there. Bottom of the deck, we have the Page of Swords. Death, the devil. <sighs> Ace of Wands. Okay, so at least there's like some fiery stuff. I'm kind of getting unrelated to love. Look at all the look at all the blue. If you can see, I know the color doesn't really pick up too well on this camera. There's lots of like blue, and then we got this pop of red. Could be a bit unrelated to love romance, but I do feel like career wise, I think in your last reading, like your love read, not love your birthday reading when I did the checkup on the current energy you had a lot of energy about like feeling inspired and excited and ready to create lots of ideas flooding your mind so I am still getting that energy coming through it's like lots of like inspiration and like you know expressing and channeling your energy in a healthy way so if you are going through some pretty intense stuff um returning to you know your friends and stuff like that but also finding a way for you to express this energy healthy in some sort of creative form something that puts you in the present moment right so that will really benefit you okay so that's just a little oops little message for you guys so um yeah something's definitely coming to an end something in your life this relationship that you're in or you were in or something that you're trying to let go of. Something's coming to an end here. Death. And, oh, sorry, this is the devil. <laughs> there we go, death. And notice that there are multiple... Is this going to focus? Thank you. Oh my gosh. There's multiple people, mermaids, and a person in this card. So there's that energy of let your friends help you, right? If you're going through a breakup right now, Leo, let your friends help you. Um, if you need a good shoulder to cry on... If you need to let your emotions out, let it out. Fucking, if you got some leftover things from this person, right? You got their hoodie, you got some letter. Like, <laughs> if you want, you can rip it up, burn it. <laughs> I mean, they may ask for their hoodie back, but oh well, you burnt it already. <laughs> you ripped it up, you threw it away. What are they going to do? Go buy another one. Sorry. I'm just kidding, but like, nah, I'm kind of getting that. I just wanted to, uh, Okay. We're going to take away the jokes because I know some of y'all are going through it. <sighs> yeah. Kind of just like picking up the broken pieces and trying to figure out, well, how do I move on from this? How do I... Right? Because I feel like, like I said, you could have been overlooking red flags for a while, making excuses, and then, you know eventually something collapsed ten of pentacles reversed there's a foundation here that wasn't solid from the beginning something about this relationship something about this foundation some of you may feel like you were used and just like tossed it aside like you gave them everything you gave them a home you gave them love you gave them support you even gave them money for some right landed them money helped them out with finances things like that gave them a place to stay right maybe they moved in with you in your own home and just to be tossed aside like it was all nothing. Oh, yeah. So you might have a lot of built up anger within you or a lot of like frustration. Hmm. And I do feel like again with the uh, Page of Swords and even the Sun and the Queen of Swords, you're not tolerating shit. <laughs> That's a fact. And you're seeing things clearly. Leo energy coming out, your sign coming through, and you're having a new perspective on this situation. Now, it's interesting because we have the Knight of Cups reverse. So someone, you may have felt like someone played with your emotions or never really considered how you felt. The Knight of Cups can also be someone who's very manipulative or emotionally unstable or just like unpredictable emotionally. Someone who's also a very smooth talker or always seems to know how to manipulate you in whatever way to kind of keep you from leaving them or keep you from standing up to them. Anyways, I think you guys have like reached a point, right? Especially if like you became aware of these red flags or your friends are telling you like, yo, Leo, like that's not okay. Like you should definitely speak up about that or you should definitely like talk about your feelings 
and have a discussion here and so maybe you did right with the queen of swords so you're no longer putting up with this um treatment and so maybe you did maybe you spoke up about how you felt and also just gotta say just gotta point out queen of swords and the knight of cups reverse there's a huge energy imbalance you could have been dealing with someone younger than you or someone who just acts um more immaturely emotionally just like again not on the same level um this person does seem like this knight of cups he's kind of in la la land he's kind of in like imagination the fact that this is reverse is almost like I'm, i keep getting this energy of like someone pretending to be something that they actually weren't or like pretending ah uh, yeah it's not coming to me anyways <sighs> yeah it just it just feels kind of like you know it ain't all sunshine and rainbows, that's a fact. It just kind of feels a bit heavy. Like, I'm just like, you know, them sighs. I just feel like, damn. Anyway, Seven of Cups. You have many options moving forward about the direction you're going down. Now you're trying to figure out, well, how do I move forward? What do I do now? I have all these options, all these possibilities. Might even be feeling a bit overwhelming. But whatever you do end up choosing, Leo, go for it and you'll succeed. Whatever it is that you're trying to move towards. Because some of you feel like you've been restricted. Some of you felt like this connection that you were in was holding you back or preventing you from growing. Right? Something about this was just so limiting. Something that was just super draining. You would give your all and then be left with nothing. Like, oh, God. Anyways, I feel like once you are free from this, you're flying forward and you are feeling so lighter so much happier i mean we got the sun out here so there's a lot of happiness although you may not be feeling it right now right you're going through some tough shit you're dealing with cleanup right you got cleanup crew over here aisle number t aisle number 12 you know like fucking cleaning up oops clean up the shit <sighs> but as you're doing that it's almost like as if you're reflecting looking back on past experiences looking back on these red flags things that you miss because let's be real love can be so blinding you're in the relationship it feels amazing you're like you know you go through a lot of rocky times but you kind of make excuses for it you will kind of just you know pretend it never happened or you, oh it's okay we can move on from this because you didn't want to be alone or you're afraid of being alone or afraid of um you know arguments fallouts but it's like something something hit you from within. Like you didn't... You finally stood up for yourself. Or you finally spoke your truth. And you weren't tolerating some sort of treatment. And someone didn't like that. And so maybe a result... Like I said, maybe it resulted in a fight. But you didn't back down. Maybe in the past you used to back down. But like, okay, you know what? I'm sorry. Not this time. You ain't got nothing to apologize for. You're like, no. Like you know anyways um so as you're as you're looking back as you were doing the cleanup right and you're also working on healing and releasing and forgiving recognizing that you are fucking worthy of love right you're having this breakthrough this understanding you're seeing things differently you're looking back at this connection realizing how limiting it was how it held you back from even being your most authentic self you felt like maybe you couldn't even be your true self you felt like you had to lie or shrink yourself dim your light and so as you are cleaning up the damage that was done as you're working on releasing and feeling and all of that right you're like damn like i really i've put up with so much crap Ooh, and then i'm even getting like even with that five of wands you might be feeling a bit angry even angry at yourself like why did i tolerate that you know <laughs> it's okay you know, we all go through it. We all have those times. And you can't change the past. What you can do, though, moving forward, you know better. You're not going to go through that again. And so it's all about remembering and knowing your fucking worth. Leo, you know your worth. Anyways, moving forward, you are moving to much more happier times. And to be open to receive. And to not let this situation close you off for good. And I think it's also important that you focus on yourself, right? To focus on your needs. You don't have time for distractions. You have some big things coming up, Leo.
So we have Capricorn energy out here as well as Scorpio, Leo. Yeah, some of them maybe had used you for money or even used you for sex. <sighs> yeah, that's just so yucky. That's just, oh, just yucky. It's just, get that shit away from me, you know? Should we clarify anything? I think it's pretty straight to the point. Let's look into the sun. I want to see what the sun's about. Let's end on a high note, Leo. Right? Let's end on a high note. Tell me about the sun for Leo. Summer nice in Venus. To wrap this reading up. Tell me about the sun for Leo in August 2021. I feel lots of healing energy. Lots of love. Lots of support. Even the divine supporting you. And is there for you. You're not alone. Sending you guys my good vibes. It's kind of the sun for Leo, summer rising Venus, August 2021. It's kind of the sun for Leo. We have temperance, healing, balance, <sighs> breath of fresh air. Let me just see. Is there anything else regarding the sun for Leo? We also have the Page of Cups reverse. So yeah, I feel like as if you guys are made the decision to just completely cut something off once and for all. Um, block someone. There's no communication. You've gotten clarity. You see things exactly as they are. Maybe you're confused for a while with that Seven of Cups because that can also mention confusion. Kind of the sun for Leo. Anything else regarding the sun? Thank you. Ace of Swords. Clarity. And you also have the Eight of Pentacles. There is so much support around you. Again, don't be afraid to ask for help. Don't be afraid to allow your friends and loved ones to be there for you and to support you. It does not make you weak. Um, two of Pentacles and Six of Swords. You got, like I said, you got many choices. Seven of Cups, Two of Pentacles and the Six of Swords. You got decisions about where you're going moving forward. Okay? So... Um, the cards that came out, like I said, for the sun with the ace of swords. So like I said, the sun is bringing a lot of clarity. It's shining a light on any illusions, any lies, any secrets, anything that was in the dark, any red flags that you missed. It's all coming to the surface. And you, as you're doing cleanup, right, you and your buddies, you and your friends, as you guys are, you know, even as you're venting to a friend, to someone that you trust, as you're just like getting it all out any frustration, any sadness, as you are just, you're coming to so much realization about, wow, I'm so fucking happy that this ended. I'm so happy. Like, you guys are, you know, at first it's, like, really crappy, but then you're recognizing who the fuck you are, you know? You're like, why would I ever put up with this crap? Anyways, major understanding, major breakthrough, and also healing and bringing more balance back into your life, getting back on your feet, because whatever this connection was, this is Aggie energy, by the way, it was so fucking unhealthy, so toxic. You didn't even realize it because you were in the thick of it, and this person knew how to, like, reel you back in and keep you stuck, right? Not anymore, anyways. Like I said, page cups reverse, no communication, blocks, that's it, finito, done, blocked cut off you know there is no going back wow leo so that was quite the reading i am sending you guys all my love you're gonna feel so much better off so much like something here this connection was restricting your growth i would i say this sometime it's kind of like um when you have a plant in like a small pot, it can only grow to a certain size. When you give it more space to grow, you, you replant it, you pot it in something bigger. It can grow bigger, right? It gets super big. Um, isn't it the same with sharks or some sort of fish or some sort of, you know, sea creatures? Like if you have it in a certain tank, it's only going to get to a bigger size. You put it in the ocean, it's going to grow massive, right? Kind of like that. Or goldfish right i think goldfish do the same it's like if they're in a small little fish tank right they're only gonna stay like that size but if you let them out into a lake i've seen pictures of goldfish that are like this big i'm like holy fuck so it's kind of like that something that was restricting you holding you back from growing from being and expanding something was shrinking you something was keeping not something someone i keep saying something my goodness someone was holding you back 
preventing you from growing, dragging you down. Not anymore. Not anymore. You're you're shedding dead weight. And you're fucking free. So, Leo, it sucks. There's going to be moments. It's going to come in waves, right? Some days are going to be easier than others. There's going to be lots of emotions you're going to have to just deal with, let out, feel it. When you do that, it's going to be much easier. If you try to suppress it, it's going to make it more difficult. So my two cents, my little advice, feel it. All your emotions, the anger, the sadness, the everything, the happiness, all of it. Feel it all, right? There's no such thing as low vibrational feelings. Like, fucking feel it. And don't feel bad about it. You know, if you feel a sense of relief deep down, you're like, I'm kind of glad that we're over. Don't even feel bad about it, right? <laughs> no need to no need to feel guilty about it, you know? If you feel like, okay, if you were the one that broke up, if you were the one that put an end to it, right, for your own needs, you put yourself first. That's fucking great. Don't feel guilty about putting yourself first, right? Don't feel, don't feel guilty for no longer tolerating shitty treatment, okay? <sighs> take care of yourself leo that is what i got for you guys for this reading if you guys found this helpful or insightful let me know in the comments below leave a like subscribe you can always turn on the bell so that you're notified when i upload in the future if you guys are interested you can follow me over on my instagram at jadestone tarot and with that being said i'm gonna let you guys go thank you so much for watching and i'll talk to you in the next one take care